Hi, this is Anna from Just Paint. Today I'm here with my son Angelo. Um, we're gonna be painting him as a tiger. And this is gonna be a very slow, detailed video so that you can help, so I can help you learn how to paint um, the stripes really nice and get flow and spongy. So Angelo, just hold tight. I'm gonna load up some white okay. superstar face paint. Uh, white superstar, it is really nice because it's rich and creamy and it makes smooth bases. So we'll get that really worked up into a nice, thick, creamy paste. And I'm using a petal sponge. I like petal sponges because for tigers, they work around the mouth and nose area really well and they make a nice tiger shape around the eye. So first I'm gonna start with this little muzzle. Yep, keep your mouth closed. Don't lick your lips. There we go. And I'm just patting around here to give him a little smiley face muzzle and it helps with the symmetry too if you decide to just put the tip right at the split under the nose where you've got that little dip and you put it on each side then your muzzle will be the same size on both sides of the face all right i'm just going to tap over his lips don't lick your lips okay buddy uh -huh. all right now i you can use it this way or you can use it this way over the eyes can you close your eyes i'm going to go this way so i can get the tip really nicely and the eye crack there you don't want to press hard when you're working around the eye because if you do you could be squeezing some excess water from the sponge onto the face and the paint will drip in the eye so you want to do really soft pats that you're not squeezing any water out of your sponge Ta -da! what do you think Angelo can you open your eyes oh, all right really so, see. so for this see. one I'm kind of doing a butterfly angle where the eyes are going out this way oh, yeah <laughs> it looks so cute Jeez Louise, my little YouTuber. All right, next I'm using a fusion cake. This is called Tropical Tiger. It has uh, neon pink, neon orange, neon yellow, and a pearl white. I'm gonna load up mostly the white, yellow, and orange. Choo, 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 choo. And this is super bright, super, super bright. He's gonna be glowing from 50 miles away. <laughs> All right, here we go. Now I'm gonna <laughs> use this sponge also to make a little fan shape here. And gently tap the paint until you get a nice opaque coverage. With the neons, you have got to tap a little bit more than you would with a regular paint to get a solid coverage. Can you look at me? Thanks. I'm tapping, I'm tapping. So I'm moving my sponge like a fan. So it almost creates a triangle shape on each cheek. And then I'm gonna do the same thing here on the bridge of his nose. Like that. And we got a little forehead going on there. And now in this area, you can either choose to get some yellow or some white and blend it in. I'm gonna pick up a little bit of the, just the yellow and white on the other side of the sponge and fill in this empty spots. Mm. So I'm just doing a little baby fan just with the tip. And that feels very puffy. Mm -hmm. It's a puffy, puffy. sponge. Puffy. Mm. This is a fusion puffy. petal sponge. It's nice and firm and puffy. Okay. Puffy. Does that look solid enough? All right, I think so. Step back and take a look. Now we're gonna do his nose, muzzle, and his line work. This is a bolt, small angle brush, and I love using it for thin to thick line work. I'm also gonna be using a bolt, thin round brush for the thin, thin line work around his muzzle. Here we go, loading up my brush, twisting it so it's nice and crispy. And I gotta sneak in here and see your face. I'm gonna look for the line right that goes right under his nose to his lip and make a super thin line that goes thin to thick. Then I'm gonna press and then pull and make his muzzle. Press and pull to make the muzzle on both sides. 
If you look at your little guy from straight on, it's easiest to make this as symmetrical as possible. All right, now I'm gonna paint a little lip. Don't lick your lip, don't lick your oh. lip. It's gonna help. Don't lick them, don't smush them together, and just keep them separate and let this one dry, okay? All righty. There's his little lip. And then I'm gonna paint a little nose on my little tiger. And to do the nose, I just paint like right over the nostril so it goes from thick to thin, thick on the outer side of the nostril, and then it gets thin, and then I just connect it in the middle. Look at me. Oh, there we go. Hold your legs still so you don't waggle. Oh my God, you're so cool looking. And then for the muzzle, I'm just gonna press out and then pull it in. Press out, pull it in, press out, pull it in, press out, pull it in. So it's like a fan also. The kind of theme for a tiger is fanning shapes. Like triangular coming together to a point. Press it out, pull it in, press it out, pull it in, press it out, pull it in. And one more, press it out, pull it in. There's my little tiger. Next, we're gonna do the stripes. I'm gonna load up like, some Fusion Strong Black on this bolt angle, small angle. And we're gonna get striping. I'll start with the eyes. These can be the eyes or the ears. I'm just gonna make them go through. Ooh, he's tired. And then, meow. And I'm moving thin to thick. Pressing my brush, wiggling it. With the angle brush, you can kind of jig, jig, jag it, zigzag it to get all sorts of cool tribal line work stripes. So there's just some quick line work around the eye. And then for the cheeks, I want to do two lines. Ooh, how do I do this without blocking? I'm going to do two lines coming down this way and two lines going this way. So I'm going to start. No, can I move my head this way? No, nope, just keep it right where it is. Sorry. Hold on one second. Once I get away from the camera, you can move your head and adjust yourself. Okay? Adjust yourself. So we've got some comma shapes, and then I made a U shape just to make it buried. And then right here, turn your head. I'm going to make another kind of blobby U shape. So they're all very organic and they're not exactly identical and that kind of helps with the natural flow of the design. All right, can you look over here at me this way? I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna do two thin to thick stripes coming in this way. And then I'm gonna do two coming, whoop and this way and then let me shape them a little bit oh my god Ooh. thin to thick and then this one i'm going to make kind of like a u coming in and the more you uh make them thin to thick like i said the better they look so there's some stripes there Kay. then he's going to look forward like this and I gotta do the stuff on the middle of his forehead, the stripes here. So can you look at me? I'm gonna just make a diamond almost that's open at the bottom and open at the top. Oh, yeah. And then I'm gonna do a little stripe here and a stripe here so they're kind of like dash marks and then a little crack in the middle. And then I just gotta paint this other eye area Look over here. Thin to thick. Oh, I might have got too much water on my brush there. I'm just gonna copy those dash marks. And we're gonna go thin and thick, thick and thin. All the way around his eye that way. I'm gonna put some little fangs. Don't lick your teeth. I mean your lip. <laughs> my teeth. You're gonna my teeth. 
and paint some little fangs on him. And then if your client isn't too wiggly, you can do a little bit of detail work around the eyes. I'm just gonna put hey. some. You're gonna hit, stay still. I'm just gonna put some little dots here around his eye area. I heard you. And I put a couple little, little dots. I understand you. You're not wiggly. And if you really have a super still person, you can do a little bit of eyeliner. Whew. Let's see. Can I get a peek at you? You smile, Angelo? Cheese. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Have a great day.